Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about this ESP32 CAM and uh, so basically we are going to see how you can uh, connect this CAM with this uh, USB TTL converter so that you can uh, program it or not only this only this USB TTL converter you can connect it with any USB TTL or FTDI converter we are going to talk about that so that you can program it easily and then we are going to see how you can create a local video streaming web server using this USB 32 CAM so let's get started So guys if you see here uh, in this video 32 cam we have a micro sd slot where you can put a micro sd card to store the images we will take the camera is still here so when you will buy it it may look something like this so the camera generally comes separately something like this you will have the camera like this and the board like this so what you will do you will just open the open this lid something like this and you will put the camera inside this slit some like this and then you will just push it and it will be connected okay something like this okay now except that here we have this inbuilt uh, bluetooth and wi-fi module and then there is a place port here where you can also put an external antenna so you can just buy one external antenna and connect with it okay we accept uh, so without an external antenna also it works but the external antenna just extend the range okay now also we have a 3.3 volt regulator here which basically convert the 5 volt to 3.3 volt because this chip works only 3.3 volts okay so okay so except that we have nine gpo pins here there is a five volt pin ground to two ground pins in one side and one three volt pin and one ground pin in another side and also there are one tx and rx pin using which you can program it because as you can see there are no usb here so we need to program it using those rx and tx pin now to program this either you can use one of these ftdi or usb ttl converters or you can use arduino okay so, but in this video i'm going to use this uh, usb ttl converter but there are some other models of this thing also and you can use them because the use is just similar okay the connection are going to be just similar so i'm going to show you how to connect this thing with this uh, usb32 cam but you have if you have any other usb ttl converter also the connection will be just the same okay so let's see well guys so here i have connected this uh, usb to cam with this usb ttl converter now the connection looks like uh here we have 3.3 volt to 3.3 volt so there is a 3.3 volt pin here so we have connected a 3.3 volt pin from a converter to this 3.3 volt pins then there is a ground pin ground to ground and there is a tx pin tx to rx so tx of usb ttl to rx of uh, this uh usb32 cam and rx of usb2 usb ttl converter to the tx of this uh, 32 cam okay so ground to ground 3.3 volt to 3.3 volt tx to rx and rx to tx so this is all the connection you need to do another thing you need to do while you will upload the sketch while you will upload the sketch in that time only you have to connect the gpio pin 0 with the ground pin so these two pins you need to connect okay so as you can see so in this side so basically these two pins so this is a 3.3 volt pin this is a ground pin and there are tx and rx pins and these two pins gpo gpo 0 and this ground pin these two pins you need to connect through a single jumper or something like this you have to connect these two pins while uploading the sketch so while you will upload the sketch you just connect this thing and after uploading so after the uploading will be done you just open it okay so remember this thing while only uploading you need to connect it and after uploading you just remove it something like this sorry something like this okay and then you can use it easy, easily also there is a 5 volt pin in this side you can also use it so sometimes what will happen while you are upload this while you are uploading some sketch into it you may get some errors like timeout errors in that case what you can do you can also try it with the 5 volt pin also so in that case you what you do you connect the 5 volt pin of this usb ttl converter with the 5 volt pin of this um usb ttl to cam because there is a 3.3 volt regulator here so what happens when you pass 5 volt it just convert that to 3.3 volts and put in their chip okay so you can also use the 5.5 volts also and else that there are nine gpo pins which you can use for different purpose okay so this is all about the connection now let's go to the pc and see how you can use arduino id to code this thing okay okay guys so before we will start the coding part uh, let's just look at the diagram again so this is how the diagram pinout looks like so there is one 5 volt pin and ground pin in one side and there is one 3 volt 3.3 volt pin and two ground pin in the other side 
so you can power it in any way you can uh, you can also connect with 5 volt or 3.3 volt so basically there is a 3.3 volt regulator in this uh, in this module so if, even if you give 5 volt it is going to convert that to 3.3 volts and then it will work but one thing you should not do is don't connect your 5 volts output with 3.3 volts in that case your board will be burned okay so don't do that and else that we have nine gpio pins okay we have and uh, these two pins gpio 3 and gpio 1 they are basically the rx and tx pin so basically when we are going to connect our usb to ttl pin usb ttl converter with this usb 32 cam uh, how the connection will look like is you will connect your 3.3 volt with this 3.3 volt i mean the 3.3 volt of uh, usb 32 cam with the 3.3 volt of our usb ttl converter ground with ground now the rx will go to the tx and the tx will go to the rx okay so the rx of usb 32 with the tx of our uh, usb ttl converter and the tx of usb 32 to the rx of our usb ttl converter okay and another important thing is when you are uploading the sketch in that case you need to connect the gpio 0 and ground pin together so what you can do you can simply connect a jumper wire with these two cables okay and you can just connect them and after you will be done with uploading the sketch you can also manually remove that okay so this is about the connection you need to know about this usb 32 now let's just talk a little bit about the specification the specification you should know so basically it has an inbuilt wi-fi it has an inbuilt bluetooth uh, bluetooth 4.2 it has uir tspi and i2c and pw interfaces uh, another important thing is like it has nine gpio ports it has a uh, so it supports wi-fi image upload and it has a built-in flash led okay so even if you just see it so this is the built-in flash led okay and there is and coming to the camera it is a two megapixel camera which has the highest resolution of 162 to 1200 and it has a image transfer of 15 to 60 fps so these are the specifications you should you should know about this usb32 board okay now now let's talk about how you can code uh, how you can just program it okay so we have already talked about how you can connect that usb to ttl converter with your usb32 cam now after that you just open your arduino id okay and you so first thing is you have to install the board manager for you need to install the board for this usb32 cam so you go to file you go to preference and you go to the additional board manager urls and here you need to paste this url okay this one so i, I already have pasted it so in your case it will look something like this and then in the next line you need to paste this url okay and then you click ok here i will put the link of this url in my video description okay and then you press again ok then you go to tools you go to boards you go to board manager and it will take some time to download the platform index so just give it some time and uh, within few seconds it should be done yeah now you search your usb32 and you will get this usb32 by espresso systems and you just install it so i have already installed it but uh, in your case you will get an install button here so you click that and you will get the latest version of usb32 now after you have installed usb32 you need to, what you need to do uh, you will go to the file from their sketchbook from there you go below not sketchbook sorry examples from there you go below and you just go to usb32 and you go to camera and there is one single example camera web server you click that you open this thing okay now here uh so uh, in your case in the ssid and password uh, password field you will see some stars there so in the ssid field you need to put your routers uh, ssid means the router's name and then in the password you need to put your password so in my case i have fill it another thing you need to do in your case what you will see initially is uh your code will initially look something like this where you will have this uh, you will have this hash defined uh, camera model rover kit and what you need to do you have to comment this line so in your case this is how it will look like and what you need to do you need to comment out this line okay this line you have to comment out this rover kit one and then you need to uncomment this line hash defined camera model ai thinker okay so at the end it should look something like this okay so this camera model ai thinker should be uncommented and you need to put the ssid and password these two things you need to change okay so at the end your code would look something like this so in in place of this ssid and password you have to put your ssid and password okay now we need to go to tools and from there we will select the board so you will go to usb32 and from there you will, you will select usb32 rover module you select this one okay 
Oh, another thing is like when you will open this uh, example, okay, in the for, for the first time, you may not find this ESP example, ESP32 examples. So what you need to do, you need to go to tools and from there you need to select the board first. So you first go to tools and select the board ESP32 Rover module and then only maybe you will go to examples and you will find that ESP examples. Okay. Now you go to tools and uh, from there uh, the remaining settings are like the upload speed will be this one, the frequency will be this one and these things are the default so you don't need to change. Now in the partition scheme you need to change it, you need to go to the huge app, you need to select this one, huge app 3 MB, no OTA, 1 MB spips, this one you have to select and in the port you need to select your port. Now in my case it's COM11 but in your case it can be different. Okay, These settings you need to change so make sure you have the same settings I have. Now after this we are ready to upload our sketch. Now you click here and it will compile your sketch. Now after the compilation will be done and uh, uh, what we need to do is we need to press the reset button before uploading the sketch. Okay, so after only pressing the reset button, the upload will start. Okay, so now it's compiling the sketch as you can see and it will for the first time it is going to take some uh, time and then when the compilation will be done, So just wait until it is compiling. Now the compilation is done and as you can see connecting and there are some dot and dashes. So at that point, what you need to do, you need to uh, press the reset button. Okay, so here you press the reset button and after that you start uploading something like this. So whenever you will see these dotted and dashes in connecting, you press the reset button in your uh, ESP32 and then it will start uploading something like this. Okay, sometimes it automatically starts uploading, but in your case, if it's not uploading automatically, you just press the reset button and it will start uploading. Okay, another thing you should remember uh, is if it is giving you some timeout kind of error, in that case, what you can do, you can switch to the 5 volt instead of 3.3 volt. Okay, sometimes it happens that you, if you connect to 3.3 volts, it doesn't work properly. Okay, now it's done uploading. Now what you need to do, you need to open that GPIO jumper wire which the two pins we have connected, that GPIO 0 and ground, you just remove that jumper wire, okay. You just remove that jumper wire and then what you need to do, you open that serial monitor and from there you select the board rate 115200, okay. And just, uh, and in your case, it will look something like this and then what you need to do, you need to press the reset button in your ESP32 and you will see some text like this and within a few seconds, you will get the IP address. So here I have got my IP address port number. So you copy that IP address. Okay. You copy it and then you just go to your browser and you paste it. Okay. And you will get this beautiful interface. So you go here and you click start stream and you will get the camera here. So now if you see, you can do, you can watch it live. Okay. And it's very smooth. Now, Okay, now from here you can change resolution. This is the highest resolution. Okay, but if you just make it highest, in that case you will see the footage will be very much shaky. Okay, whereas in case if you have selected the uh, resolution DCI-F, in that case it will be much smoother. Okay, as you can see it's much smoother now. Okay, and there are various settings you can do here. So you can play with all the settings. There is phase detection, phase evolution, things like that. You can also play with them. But in this video, I'm not going to do this because this is the basic video. And in this video, I have just show you how you can port your uh, USB 32 cam with uh, USB TTL converter and Arduino IDE. In maybe in next video, in next few videos, we'll talk about different features in this USB 32 and we'll talk about different um, projects also using this 32 cam so make sure you have subscribed to my channel for future videos so this is all about uh, this uh, this video guys and uh, hope you like it so if you have liked it then like this video and uh, thank you guys see you in the next video